Note that uh, this has other warnings here, and these warnings are saying, hey, this should be a um, string literal, so you should use an Android resource. Again, it's recommending that you export this as a string resource. And you could do that by going through and selecting Extract String Resource. Now, I'm not going to do that here, but you could certainly do that. And again, that's best practice. And so you get a sense that Android Studio is really prompting you to code with best practices in mind. Let's go ahead and run this by coming up here and selecting the Run App. We can press the button here, or you can select Run and choose Run App from the menu. If you have a device connected and you've set it up for development, then it'll show up here and you can click OK and it'll run on your device. Or if you don't have a device and you want to run it on an emulator, you can create a virtual device. Here I've created a few, but let me show you how that works. And so if I go ahead and choose Create New Virtual Device, you have an option to select from a variety of different devices. These are going to be Google-specific ones. You can also import hardware profiles for other popular devices. If you have a Samsung or some other manufacturer, you can download their hardware profile. And then it'll show up in Android Studio and it'll look like the device and behave in the same way. For our purposes, I'm going to select Pixel 3 and choose Next. Then what we'll need to do is download an operating system. And in our case, I want to select Pi, so I'm going to download for Android Pi. And in this case, it's going to download, and it's, it's a large download, so make sure that you have uh, room on your hard drive for your computer in order to do that. But I'll skip ahead as soon as this is done. Once that has finished, go ahead and choose Finish. And now we will select the operating system image that we've downloaded and choose Next. From here, you can give this a name if you want to have multiple versions of the same device. You can also set what is called the startup orientation and some other advanced features if needed. You can always come in and change this later, but for now, let's go ahead and choose Finish. We can go ahead and select that and choose OK. So here we have the emulator, and it looks like a Pixel 3 device, and here we have the app running. So if I go ahead and select this, I can say blue, and notice how I've kind of uh, capitalized a couple of different letters. Go ahead and choose Submit. It says, hey, you like blue. And notice again, because we said two lowercase, regardless of how I capitalized it, the text is working. So let's go ahead and change that. Let's say yellow, and we Submit. You like yellow. Of course, it's a little hard to see, but you get the idea. Uh, what about uh, purple? We go ahead and choose Submit. You say, now check this out. It says, you like colors. Now, I happen to have known that that uh, particular RGB value was purple, but if because it was not recognized, we went to the else statement. And from the else statement, we had uh, our own defined color, and we said, you like colors, and then we set it to purple. Same thing if I had said, I want, uh, say I'd set this to white, it's going to say the same thing. If I go back here, let's try black, and it says, you like black.